Добрий день, я вітаю. Good afternoon. I would like to welcome everyone who joins us. Media Center Ukraine Ukraine Forum continues its work. 152nd day of the full-fledged invasion of the Russian aggressor to our lands. And today we will be talking about the situation at the south of Ukraine. Live with us is Natalia Gomenyuk, who is head of the United Coordinating Press Center of Security and Defense Forces of the South of Ukraine. Ms. Natalia, are you there? Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. So, how was the previous day in the South? Quite a productive day indeed. Even though quite aggressive from our enemy. Productive because we had five airstrikes destroying five defense points of the enemy, destroying command and reconnaissance points of the Russian National Guard, Guards, Rosgvardia. Also, that exercised quite a substantial hit on the enemy's morale and as a vendetta they hit Mikolaev, which is their usual practice, but previously uh, our artillery has accurately hit S-300 battery, which has been shelling Mikolaev with modified fragmentation uh, rounds. So this battery has been destroyed. So this night uh, the enemy was using Smirch MLRS to hit Mikolaev, hitting industrial uh, companies lots of hits in the fields where the harvest uh, catches fire but our first responders are putting them down we're clarifying the data on the um, losses as to the Kherson region we can see quite a successful attack of our troops on uh, Antonov and Kahovka bridges so what's the situation there one thing to mention straight away is that under fire control of our troops we currently have a couple of transportation arteries. Logistics plans of the enemy were disrupted. We are controlling transportation route, routes. Uh, we keep them under our fire control. Thus they are not able to freely maneuver or create new assault groupings which demoralizes the enemy's troops. The shelling of Odessa quite recently, what are the consequences of that shelling, Ms. Natalia? Uh, when they hit uh, Odessa a seaport, well that's quite uh, a vivid illustration of uh, the values and guarantees that we should expect from the terrorist state. Speaking about the situation in the Black Sea, what do we observe there right now? Right now, what we observe is that boats and cutters of the enemy are maneuvering along the Crimean uh, boot, uh, shore near Anapa, keeping their boats uh, safe from our rocket strikes but two rocket carriers with 16 caliber missiles and one big uh, assault uh, landing troop are nearby but let me remind you that there's still a blockade of Black Sea and these were the boats that are blocking the Black Sea uh, from early March. We are all aware about the agreements reached on transportation of our grain. So, will the uh, Black Sea be demined? Well, they are clarifying the technical parameters of this task. Uh, to meet the previous agreements as soon as the military receive relevant 
uh, orders they will be ready to perform on them colleagues your questions please use the mics Tkachuk Svetlana Ukrinform can you tell me please how do you evaluate the potential success of the above agreement on grain and what would the Ukrainians do to keep their boats ships safe in order to keep our ships safe we need powerful uh, and air defense system why because our skies are still uh, not closed and 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 our enemy has anti-ship rockets and missiles so that's where the major danger comes from because according to the well we cannot uh, believe the promises of our enemy they demonstrated that they're not trustworthy also there are threats of mines but i believe that the superior U Ukrainian military and political leaders will resolve this issue the best way possible. Further questions, please? If no, then Miss Natalia would like to thank you for finding time and joining us live. That was Natalia Guminyuk, the head of the United Press uh, Center of the South Armed Forces Group. Colleagues, at 2 p.m., here in the studio we'll have Alexander Kubrakov, the Minister of Infrastructure, and Mykola Solsky, Minister of Agrarian Policy and Foodstuff of Ukraine. So stay with us.